First we have, from 1750, George Wallace. And he's got with him a flat-coated retriever with a single-barrel, smooth, ten-bore flintlock musket, a reproduction brown bess. And then, from the period of 1800, we have Glyn Cook. He has with him an Irish Water Spaniel and a Clumber Spaniel. He's carrying a 12-bore, double-barrel, percussion ignition shotgun. We move on another 50 years to 1850, and we come to Alistair McGuggan, who's got an, uh, he's got a, a, a pointer, German, I think he's a German short hair pointer, and also a set of bagpipes, but he hasn't brought those in the ring, has he? Yes, he has. He'll frighten all the birds with that. In 1900, we move on now to the costume depicted by Carl Cox, and he's got with him Mastiff, and a Damascus barrel, Daniel Fraser, double barrel, hammer, shotgun. See how the fashions are changing as we go down through the years. Now we come to 1950. We're getting into the period which I can remember. And here we have Angus Irvin. He's got two Labrador Retrievers. He's got a single barrel Canadian Cooey 12 bore shotgun. And now to bring us right up to date, in the year 2000, the sort of dress that the gamekeepers are wearing, we have Stephen G. He's got a, a Springer Spaniel, two Springers, I think it is. Oh no, one's a Cocker, I beg your pardon. And he's carrying a Browning over and under, double barrel, 12 bore shotgun. Now, of course, we've had gamekeepers' classes going on here today, and the gamekeepers' ring holds a unique place in the history of crafts. The Gamekeepers' Association of the United Kingdom was founded in 1900. And a year later, Crufts was developed out of the Gamekeepers Association annual general meeting, when Crufts, as was, was taken over by the Kennel Club. The only difference, so far as the keepers were concerned, was that now their dogs also had to be Kennel Club registered. In 1975, the Gamekeepers Association became incorporated with the Wildfowlers Association of Great Britain and Ireland, and that in 1981, in turn changed its name to the British Association for Shooting and Conservation, as depicted by our friends, the gamekeepers out there. Ladies and gentlemen, they're going to go off, and I think you'll find that Alistair McGuggan is going to hand over his dog to Glyn Cook, and he's gonna pipe them out of the ring, and I'd like you to give them a big clap as they go. Hope they can get through that fence. Off they go, ladies and gentlemen. Big hand for our gamekeepers. Today we are pleased for the second year to welcome to the main ring Her Majesty's Gamekeepers from the Great Park at Windsor. And they come in under the direction of Head Keeper John Stubbs to present their internationally famous gun safety demonstration. This demonstration has been performed many times over a number of years at country fairs and shows all over Britain. It's designed to present in 
a light-hearted fashion the very serious subject of shotgun safety. And the organization which provides and monitors codes of good practice in all of our field shooting activities is the British Association for Shooting and Conservation. And it's they who run the gamekeeper classes here at Crufts every year on Gundog Day. But into our demonstration. You'll see standing over at the far side two men with guns and a dog. They will demonstrate the right way. And then we're going to have a gentleman who's going to demonstrate the wrong way. But those in the corner are those who are shooting, and we will call them the guns. And the guns are meant for an invitation shoot. They meet at the venue on time, dressed in smart, sensible clothing, which lends into a country pursuit. Their shotguns, as you'll see, are in gunslings. That's correct. And they stay there until they're needed for shooting. Once a gun, uh, one gun has a nice gun dog, which we hope has been trained for shooting. We shall soon find out, I expect. And they're waiting because one of their number, one of the guns, is late. Those who are waiting, we will call Mr. Wright. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The one who is late, he's starting the day the wrong way. We'll call him Mr. Wrong. Here he is, dressed in a red jersey. I do believe he's got trainers on his feet. He's carrying a... Can I believe this? He's carrying a bottle of whiskey, isn't he? Drinking, driving and shooting just do not go together, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm sure that the Mr. Wrights will turn him away. He's saying, a, he's saying hello, but they don't really want to know about his bottle of whiskey. Now what's he going to do? He's coming back as though he's got all day. I'm sure they're waiting to get on with the shoot. Here he is. He's got a Labrador in the back by the looks of it. Oh, he's taking his gun from his vehicle. Note, it's not in a gunsling, which is against the law. And he's put it on the roof of the car, would you believe? That's wrong. It could possibly be loaded and probably is, knowing him. He's taking a length of rope. Well, it's not even rope, it's baler twine by the looks of it. He's tying it round his waist. Now, what's he going to do with that? Trip himself up, I shouldn't wonder. Mr. Wrong. Uh, he's going to get his dog. Yes, he's getting his dog. And the dog's wearing a jacket, says bulletproof. Oh, I hope it is. He's tying that length of baler twine to the dog. So we can take it that dog is not trained for shooting. Has he got his gun? Yes, he has. And he's very carrying it very unsafely and starting to point it at everyone, which is absolutely wrong. Now the guns are going to line up to do a form of shooting which we call walking up. That means you'd walk with your dog to your heel and you walk up through possibly a field of kale or some undergrowth and you try and put up the birds. Let's see what these are going to do. They've been asked to shoot good high game birds going back over their heads. No low birds, no brown game, that's rabbits or hares. So Mr. Wright starts by putting in earplugs for protection against the shotgun noise which is what they should do, of course. Mr. Wright, having done that, takes his gun out of the gunsling and checks the barrels for any blockages. Gun shotguns are wonderful things, but they can also be highly dangerous. So he's looking, or he will be in a moment, look down his barrel to make sure there's no blockage, like a clod of earth or anything. Now he loads the gun with the barrels pointing down to the ground. He closes the gun by lifting the stock. If he'd lifted the barrels to the stock, the gun would be pointing at waist height, and that's unsafe. His gun is now pointing into the air, resting on his shoulder, and he starts walking with his trained gun dog. The dog walking off the leash at heel. Mr. Wright shoots a bird going back. It's high enough to be safe. He extracts the cartridge and then demonstrates the loading procedure in the safe way. His dog is steady and doesn't make the retrieve until he's ordered to do so. 
He's just taking out the cartridge. They're going over the... You see, he's unloaded his gun to get over the fence. Calling the dog over the fence. There we are. And having got safely over, takes his gun sling off, puts it to the ground. Puts his dog to the peg. That's the stand where the gun goes. But first of all, he's putting his dog over for that retrieve. Oh, and look at Mr. Rong's dog, trying to get in there to take it. That's not good etiquette in the shooting field. He's completed the retrieve. He hands over the retrieved game to the bag carrier. Now he's ready to shoot driven game, which will be sent over in a moment. Now, Mr. Wrong, what's he up to? He hasn't got any ear protection. He's got nothing there. He's just flicked his gun up barrels first. He's pointing the gun in a very unsafe position. And all you people over there, you're in great danger, I promise you. He's walking forward. Got his dog tied round his middle, of course. A very low bird goes back. He shoots it on the ground. Oh, you don't do that. Swinging his gun around in an unsafe way. The dog pulling away. Mr. Wrong loads his gun again in a, an unsafe way by closing the barrels to the stock. And he shot another one on the ground. He shot twice. He's still loading that gun. And I do believe he's going to try and climb the fence with a loaded shotgun, pointing at anybody and everybody. He's still got his dog tied up. Now watch. Oh dear, oh dear, what a mess. You can understand how accidents happen. Oh dear, poor Mr. Wrong. At least he's over and the dog's over. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Anybody could have been shot. He doesn't care though. Look at him. He's very unsafe. You never attempt any kind of an obstacle with a loaded gun. Now he's gone to his peg and his peg isn't actually in the ground. I hate to think what he might do now. He's loading his gun again. That doesn't augur well. Oh my goodness me. He's knocking his peg into the ground with a loaded gun, I ask you. Very, very unsafe. This is John Stubbs, the head keeper from Windsor, just walking around, putting some more game in the bag. Now, Mr. Wright is going to demonstrate the safe way on driven game shooting. He's got a loader, a different set of earmuffs, big ones, the sort of thing they use for clay shooting, actually, clay pigeon shooting. He's putting his gun sling over his shoulder, they're there. Now he's taking the gun, and they both got one, and you'll see what happens in a moment with this. He's loading the gun for Mr. Wright, who closes the barrel, carries the gun with the barrel pointing upwards. They're walking forward, dog at heel, both guns pointed high above, Bird goes over and it's shot. Second bird, it's shot. Look how they exchange guns the correct way. Barrels pointing up. He's now got another loaded gun while his loader is again loading the gun he's just used. They're coming up to the obstacle. They're unloading their guns before they cross because it's not safe to cross obstacles of any sort with a loaded gun. If you trip, anything can happen. You saw what happened with Mr. Wrong just now. The dog over. Now they're going to uh, take the guns, both unloaded, while the actual loader climbs over. He'll take back the other gun. They will now go to the peg and they will load. He's 
Mr. Wrong, meanwhile, has got his gun pointing in all directions. He could shoot his dog at any moment. He had it on his foot, I think, just now. He could have blown his toe off. He's demonstrating the unsafe way on driven game shooting. He's taken his dog off the lead now, or string. What on earth is going to happen? There's one bird shot, and his dog's running off, and he's not taking any notice whatsoever. Bulletproof, by the way, his real name is Diesel. Oh, no, no, he shouldn't be doing this. They collect a bird and they bring it back. They don't go and swap it for another one and do all these things. Running loose in the shooting field is just not on. Now, let's watch. Oh, my God, he's got a loaded shotgun. Don't forget that. The dog drops it, and I think quite safely so. <laughs> he's reaching it again. Oh. Yeah, bullets off after the do after the bird shot by someone else, shot by Mr. Wright in the correct way. Mr. Wrong is standing there and he's being told to come forward. It's very dangerous to stand behind the line. Especially when you've got a dog running loose like this and a man who's been drinking whiskey. He's still got a bird in his mouth going round and round. I think the dog may have had some whiskey too. Now, what's he doing? What is he doing? Two Mr. Wrights are over on the far side. They've been told to shoot high birds, no low birds, which is what Mr. Ron has done. I think he's having a cigarette. Is he? Does he know there's no smoking in the halls? Of course, he's not in the hall, is he? He's outside. Mr. Wrong is demonstrating all the wrong things again. He's still got his gun, flicking it around quite casually. There's one going over. It's on the ground. He's shot it on the ground again, sending his dog for it willy-nilly. Poor dog is confused, doesn't know what he's got to do. He'll go in a minute. He'll go in a minute. Yes, he's over doesn't know which one to get. He's shooting there in, in the direction. Oh, dear. Mr. Wrights have had a pretty rough day with this chap. Would you like a chap like this on a shoot with you? I'm sure I wouldn't. I think they must have nearly had enough. Here comes Diesel, as he's called, the one with the bulletproof coat. Mr. Wrong, of course, is very pleased with him. He thinks he's done everything right, but of course, as you've seen, he's done everything wrong. It's a bird taken for day. He's going to swap another one now. Well, we've seen many gun dog demonstrations in this ring, but we've never seen a dog be be behave as badly as this one. Now look at him, gun pointing at the dog. He's putting the piece of string around his neck again. I do believe that Mr. Yes, they're shooting quite safely over there. And he's shooting it as well, which is entirely wrong. You don't shoot somebody else's bird. And they're still demonstrating the way to exchange shotguns safely. There's another bird going. There you are, the correct way. Pass the gun under and barrel up. Now they're demonstrating the proper way to use, uh, to act as a double gun team. I think they're going to come over. We're going to see Mr. Wrong demonstrate the wrong way to load. He's got a, a loader come over to him. Uh, <laughs> could blow his head off any moment, I think. There's a bird. Still doing dangerous things. Look at the way they pass that gun. Completely dangerous. He's still got a cartridge in it. No, it hasn't got a cartridge in it. We don't know what they're doing. Oh. Mr. Wrong has got no idea at all what danger he's causing. 
shoving guns everywhere. This is completely the wrong way, as I'm sure you understand, ladies and gentlemen. One of them's going to shoot the other, I'm sure. Mr. Wright, meantime, has put his gun in his sling and he's standing by watching. I'm sure I wouldn't like a fellow like this one in the red jumper standing behind me with a loaded gun. Highly dangerous. You now they're going back over there. And that gun's going into the sling. They're retrieving the birds and taking the birds. He's going over to the Mr. Wright. He's got a loaded shotgun. I didn't see him unload it, did you? He's going to make the last mistake, I'm sure he is. The shotgun discharges. He's so easy to shoot. A fellow gun, a fellow gentleman. He forgot to unload. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen a demonstration of the right way and the wrong way from the gamekeepers at Windsor. Please don't let this happen if you go shooting. Always be safe. But remember that without shooting, we cannot call a gun dog a gun dog. Thank you very much, the keepers from Windsor. <laughs> Lovely demonstration.